Hey, Dr. Berg here. In this video, we're going to talk about vitamin K2. Now, you may have heard vitamin K1, which is involved in clotting, but vitamin K2 is a completely different vitamin. And a lot of people don't know about it because it's a very recently discovered vitamin, but I want to talk about what it does. Um, this is a vitamin that is involved in the transportation of calcium. So it supports calcium metabolism. Now, when a postmenopausal female, or pretty much anyone who's taking calcium and vitamin D, or just calcium, and they're taking it to think that it's going to help their bones, a lot of times it may help their bones, but in the last clin three clinical trials, which I'm going to list below on this, on this page, um, they found that it increases chances of getting heart attacks by 50%. Now, why is that? Because this is the missing element to help transport the calcium from the blood into the bone. So vitamin K2 helps support healthy bone. It also helps remove soft tissue calcium. And soft tissue calcium is just buildup of calcium in the kidney, in the artery, in the joints. So I recommend this for anyone that has any problem with calcium metabolism in general. Um, so you're going to be hearing a lot more on vitamin K2 in the near future because it's something that's really missed, but I always recommend it in combination with vitamin D. So I listed the combinations that you need below, and really, if you have too much calcium buildup, you don't even need to take calcium. You need to take this one to help clean up the calcium that you already have. But I do recommend a small amount of calcium if you have problems with osteoporosis or osteopenia. But if you're eating fairly healthy with maybe fermented dairy products like cheese or yogurt or kefir, then you, you're getting plenty of the calcium. But what you're missing is vitamin K2. So if you want to support healthy bone metabolism, this is the vitamin that you want to get. 